All right, if seeing your phone battery dwindling down to empty gives you angst, you may need to see a doctor. ABC 7 News anchor Jessica Castro explains why you could have a case of nomophobia. Most of us know the feeling. Panic sets in when you realize you've left your phone at home. I can feel myself getting anxious. I don't know how people used to do it. If you start to sweat when your phone's out of reach, you could have nomophobia defined in the Merriam-Webster dictionary as a fear of being without access to a working cell phone. You have cell phone addiction. Why do you say that? Um, because I think I'm constantly on my phone and when my phone goes out of battery, I do panic. And believe it or not, there is even an app for that. The Die With Me app is a chat room specifically for people suffering from anxiety with low battery. In fact, you can't even log on until you have less than 5%. You've seen this app before. Yes. What was your reaction to the app? I was surprised at how hilarious it was because the people on it were like bonding instantly. I showed the app to Dr. Elias Abujadi, who runs Stanford's Obsessive Compulsive Disorder Clinic and is also author of Virtually You, The Dangerous Powers of the E-Personality. It makes some sense, I guess, that they can all commune over this shared high anxiety and this shared unique problem. It's a little bit tongue in cheek, of course. But he says the idea behind apps like Die With Me isn't necessarily new. It's part of telepsychiatry where people get psychiatric help remotely. It started decades ago with self-help on cassettes and CDs. Then it moved on to the internet. Now our phones and pretty soon virtual reality and artificial intelligence could help cure addictions. Dr. Abu Jadi says addiction to technology is very real. Nomophobia, one way of looking at it, is as sort of a realization of that vulnerability that we all sense without that extra appendage that we now have. We are faced with a situation where our attachment to our devices is looking for a lot of people very similar to unhealthy attachments that we have to substances or other behaviors. The science is still new, but a recent study done in Asia concretely showed an imbalance in brain chemistry of young people addicted to smartphones. Stanford professor and Dr. Max Wintermark is familiar with the Korea results. Basically, they uh, obtain images of the brain using an MRI scanner of teenagers affected with uh, addiction to cell phones, and they were able to find some changes in the brains of those uh, teenagers. Those changes were seen in brain function or how we process information Information. But more studies are needed to determine if those changes are positive or negative. One thing the study did prove, the changes were not permanent. All those changes were reversible when the addiction to the cell phone use was reversed. In Palo Alto, Jessica Castro, ABC 7 News.